Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a taking care of myself kind of day, not gonna lie. I have been craving this sort of day for ages and I want to start that off with getting ready and pampering myself and then I want to go to a thrift store. That is what I want to do. I've had my hair like this for a few days because it's kind of oily and greasy and instead of applying product to get a slick cool bun I just use my hair's natural oils to achieve that and brush it back but then I think it looks so cool I forget that perhaps I need to take a shower and wash my hair you can see how bad this is currently <laughs> we need to do something about this I want to shave my legs I want to use conditioner I often forget that during my everyday life so we're gonna do all the things that I usually typically forget and coincidentally the sponsor of today's video can help me out with that Da, 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 da. This video is sponsored by Kitsch. If you told me 10 years ago that my self-care mental health days were going to be sponsored, I would not have believed you. But here we are. Kitsch is a self-financed, women-owned brand and they just launched their rice water protein shampoo and conditioner bars. Now you know me, I am a sucker for a solid shampoo bar because it just reduces packaging and more specifically plastic. If you also heard rice water and thought, Huh, I actually recently mentioned this in a water saving video that you can use the water you rinse your rice in to strengthen your hair and it's those exact qualities that's being utilized in these soaps. Rice water promotes hair growth and can help your scalp. Their shampoo bars foam up really, really nicely so you can rub the soap in your hands and apply the soap or you can rub the soap directly onto your head, which is what I always do. The soaps are also free from phthalates, parabens, silicone and sulfate and we sure love to see it. Right now you can get 25% off all products on Kish the link is down below in the description. First up, we're gonna turn on the mood. If you have followed this channel for a while, you know that I have a soap jar with all the small leftovers of soap that I typically can't use. That often ends up like in the bottom of the sink and you end up throwing them away. We're gonna put them in this jar and then once the jar is full, I make a soap from them. I melt them all together and make a new soap from them, which is really fun. But I have a couple <laughs> of small scraps that we need to put into the jar. The smallest of scraps. And we're gonna embark on a new soap journey. Always very exciting. Returning very briefly to today's sponsor, but first when I opened them, I thought, how am I going to tell the difference between the shampoo and the conditioner? But this is a shampoo, it has an S, and this is a conditioner, it's a C. Just like you're using a new soap for the first time, so incredibly satisfying. So yeah, I got my outfit. It's all thrifted and secondhand. This shirt especially is an oldie but a goodie. I got it in a vintage kilo shop in Paris in 2015 and it's still going strong. I want to head out but before we do so I really need to eat something. Don't judge my messy freezer. Um, we're just gonna ignore that but I do have some waffles here in a stasher bag. We're gonna we're gonna have those. So homemade waffles seem to freeze incredibly well. We're just gonna pop this in the air fryer. In a very recent video, I had some things to say about the air fryer, but I also still have one. My main point in the kitchen must-haves that aren't really must-haves is that in a lot of cases, we don't need an air fryer. I got one uh, via Facebook Marketplace because I saw all the advertising, because I saw people just raving about it. And while I get all the defenders in the comment section of that last video, I get why it's nice, especially if you're one person, because it's more energy efficient than turning on your oven. But using both your oven and your air fryer, it's, it's just, it's too much. And we did so well before the air fryer. And yeah, I just don't think it's that necessary, but I will say, that when you have it, it is convenient. I just don't think convenience is necessarily everything, but now that we have it, we're gonna use it. We're gonna cook some waffles in it. Question to all the air fryer people, by the way, the basket in the air fryer, do you clean it every single time you use it? Take these apart, there we go. We're gonna pop them in here. How often do you have to clean the air fryer basket? Because I think I'm gross. I give you here a deeply unnecessary amount of toppings on my air fryer waffle. We have my homemade chocolate ganache, we have peanut butter, we have coconut flakes, we have hazelnuts and chocolate chips. Unnecessary, but I had it, so we're doing it. Wildly unnecessary and decadent, but amazing. Can we talk about how good this hair looks? Like, I have had not only a bad hair day, but bad hair weeks, it feels like currently. Guess who's motherfucking back? Look. 
So I just got back from the thrift store and I really want to show you everything I got but I am headed out the door in a second. I just really wanted to try on this one thing and style it and show it to you guys because I'm honestly so stoked about it and it didn't really feel like the vibe in the fitting room but I knew when I got home and I did what I wanted to do with it I just knew it was going to be better. So and we're going to put on uh, these vintage little sunnies, my ex-partner's mums from the 80s by the way, so shout out to that. I'm so excited for festival season, this outfit shows it. So, okay, just my bike shorts and this massive, massive, great quality jumper. So it's 100% cotton and I'm so excited about it. You can also like, it's cold, gonna go up, we're gonna go off the shoulder. Pairing it with lots of jewelry, some clip-on earrings, some cool docks. We have our Doc Martens on here. I am so excited about this look. I think this looks so sick. And I cannot wait to style the rest of the clothes. Oh yeah, also just hair up. Cute little... Very excited about this vibe. Also, maybe I'm just generally just very excited about festival season. It's not coming up anytime soon, like we're talking June and it's March. Question for the knowledgeable regarding textile so it does this thing where it goes inwards so it creates like a little bubble effect and usually it's okay but you could do something about it so I'm thinking can you cut this open so it flares out instead of going in could you let me know if that's something as possible or if I do that do I then ruin it I'm just I'm just feeling this it's such a vibe I'm very excited I also got some things that are more formal but we are using the entire fashion spectrum so we are wearing suits and we're wearing whatever this is we can do both. I have been on such a streak when it comes to secondhand fashion currently, and I want to share that with you. So I shared, I think in my last or previous vlog, I don't know, but I shared these clip-on earrings. I love them, still wear them every single day. They feel so editorial and cool, and, mm, and they're very lightweight. I think some people had questions about whether or not they hurt. I have so many clip-on earrings that hurt, to the point where I can basically only wear them when I film something or take a cool picture where they look nice, and then I have to take them off because they hurt my ears. I also have a pair, actually with some metal on it that sort of just uh, take off the skin of my earlobe because I have a reaction to them and don't wear those anymore. Anyway, these are good and very lightweight so I can wear these all day, which I love, but the secondhand streak. So I recently bought this jumper secondhand as well. A couple of days ago I bought some things on an online secondhand website and I just got a message that it arrived. So I think we should go down and pick it up and then see how those things look. I feel like this is my day because I've just had the best thrift karma and the things that I've found just feel like universal, versatile pieces for my wardrobe specifically. I often talk about timeless fashion, how you should build your wardrobe on timelessness. That doesn't mean a universal timelessness where nothing ever looks nice or cool or individual or unique to you ever. It means the opposite, something that you will always wear something that you will always love, not being affected by trends and micro trends and all of these external factors that make us buy things that we don't really like in a couple of weeks or in a couple of months, but buying something that you will always love. And one of my things in that regard is the checkered print. I also recently did a video where I showed you some of those pictures from my emo face. And every time I see something that's checkered, I go, <laughs> I love it. And I do. I also sometimes, whenever I see like studded belts, I just go, must have them because those were valuable currency back when I was an emo. The checkered print, what are we thinking? Let's go get that package. She is back and we're just gonna adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. So, um, I have the bag here. Once again, just as I mentioned in the previous vlog, even a second-hand item wrapped in plastic like this could have sent me into a fit a couple of years ago in the early stages of zero waste. Remember that like solid 2017-18 zero waste movement vibe where all plastic, any plastic was just demonized and always bad. Like it's obviously not like that and I have shopped second-hand throughout the majority of my life but because of sustainability reasons for about eight or nine years 
And whenever you buy something secondhand, however you acquire this secondhand item, means that you are not creating demand for new products to be made, which we always love. No matter how it's wrapped, also packaging accounts for less than 5% of the impact of the product on average, so I think we're good. But we're gonna try and retrieve the product from the bag without breaking it, because I would love to reuse the plastic bag still. I also send things sometimes from my Depop shop, so I wonder if I could perhaps save the plastic bag and I could send something in this. Mm. By the way, shout out to the Netto bag. It's a Danish grocery store. We got it. Baby, we got it. One thing. More things. Okay, so we will... Uh, I got a trash bag! <laughs> I sounded like Frank from It's Always Sunny. I'm a trash man! Uh, so we have some shoes. It's just a very nice classic shoe. I often look for footwear like this that's hopefully walkable and comfortable, but also stylish and a little bit more formal for my work. The thought process behind getting this was that black and white is really cool and I liked the print. And for summer, just with the bikini top underneath, this is gonna be fire! It's brown corduroy and I am obsessed. I don't know what that voice was, but I am indeed obsessed. Anyway, I'm gonna put this on. Let's see what it looks like. Love this. This is so nice. Okay, so perfect length. She's very happy, very happy indeed. So the shoes look really nice, but I just walked around in my apartment in them to see what they felt like and they're they're okay but there is one major thing wrong there's something loose in the heel it's in here it's in the heel there's a little screw or something loose in here this is not the best advertisement for secondhand clothing i guess for clothing but not secondhand footwear this is the first time this has happened to me <laughs> Hello guys, so I just went to the farmer's market and to the regular grocery store and I thought I wanted to show you what I got. Um, I try to shop as zero waste, as low waste, as package free as possible, but as you might have known from my previous vlogs, I don't have a bulk store in my city currently. Actually, the nearest bulk store is like 100 kilometers away. So, um, so I try to shop as low waste as I can, it's not completely possible but I do have a farmer's market which I really appreciate so I went there and I went to a regular grocery store let's see what I got one thing at a time first of all celeriac I get this every time because I bake it I cook it I mash it I roast it I put it in a stew somewhere in there was a lot of the rings reference but I think I butchered it I always get celeriac because it's so good and versatile and I make the best puree with this it's just texture amazing I got shallots my preferred onion. So it's Saturday today and I usually go to my market once or twice every week and then I get everything else in between in the regular grocery store. So just like now now you know. And then I got some sunroot or Jerusalem artichoke, whatever you want to call them. So delicious, especially in the oven like roasted. Mm. What else? Oh yeah. So I got parsley and I love the farmer's market because you can get package-free parsley without getting it in a big bundle so you don't get more than you need. You choose how many, what is it, like bouquets, how many bouquets you want. And I'm gonna use this in a pasta dish tonight. I really, really love that. No packaging, no fuss, nothing like that. Perfect. There's a little one that fell off there. Then I got pears because I love like, especially like really hard pears. I'm currently eating a lot of fruit. Actually the other morning I was eating an apple and I usually don't eat apples first thing in the morning because it often gives me a stomach ache. I'm just sitting there eating an apple and my boyfriend goes, you don't eat fruit. And then it occurs to me that for the longest time, duration of our relationship, I haven't really been eating a lot of fruit. Also because it's been winter and autumn, etc. So I haven't really had a lot of fruit. So he was under the impression that I never ate fruit. It was crazy, but now I'm sort of craving it again. And I don't know if it was because of that conversation, but I just started to think, oh, pears, that'd be amazing. Anyway, uh, concerning fruit, I also got organic, organic grapes. And these, oh, they're so nice. Ay, ay, ay. And they just pop in your mouth with flavor. Obviously not local, but organic. So that's something. And just in a paper bag. And usually they come with so much like firm plastic, which very, is very frustrating. Got me some grapes and they're so, so nice. That's gonna be my sort of sweet treat tonight. Okay, 
Now, the thing I got at the regular grocery store. Lemon, plums. They just looked so nice. Uh, so now we have plums as well, and then two bananas. I got my vegan cream. This is not the vegan cream that whips up and becomes whipped cream. It's a different type of whipped cream, but this is the one I used for my pasta dishes. And I'm gonna make like a carbonara-esque thing tonight. Not carbonara, obviously, because not even real cream goes in carbonara, but like, you catch my drift. Gonna use this to make like a creamy sauce, I think is a better way of saying that. Made with oats, which is one of the most low impact foods you can find. We love it. Danish produce oats too. Woo! Now look who feels like an idiot. I got baby spinach in plastic. And I specifically got this because I seemed to remember that at the farmer's market I couldn't get spinach. They haven't had it for weeks so I just assumed they didn't have it today. I went to the supermarket first and I thought okay I know they don't have it. I'm just gonna pick it up now. And then they had it. So now I feel like an idiot but alas. We try, we fail, that's life. Okay and I got pasta. So, because there's no bulk store, I can't get pasta completely package-free, but I can get it in a paper or cardboard box. But the store that I usually go to, that usually has it, didn't have the paper cardboard box. Very frustrating, so I had to get the plastic bag. That's my groceries. I thought I might as well check in with you guys and show you. Also just to say, hey, we're all trying here and you can get some things without plastic and do your very best and still get other things in plastic and like all your efforts are still completely valid. So that's it for today. So for the last 24 hours I've had a house guest and I would love for you guys to meet. Hey Moles. My neighbors have been watching Molly for a few days or so and last night they really wanted a break so I took her from yesterday afternoon and I'm gonna give her back but it was such a nice time having her yesterday evening and we had a lot of fun, right Molls? And if you don't know what's happening currently, I used to live with her, it's my ex-partner's dog. We lived together for a few years so I have spent a lot of time with Molls and it's very nice to see her once in a while again. It's been a few days since I went thrifting and uh, I just realized that I didn't really show you what I got in the thrift store. So we're gonna go over it now and you can see it's been a few days because we're back to the slick bun with natural grease and natural oils. I ended up filming a real slash YouTube short so I used some of the clips in this video as well but you can also find that experience as a reel. I don't know what my hands are doing. Recently I got a comment where someone said your hands are odd and calm them down. They are odd, what are we doing? Let me show you what I got at this thrift store. I ended up trying a lot of stuff. The most of the stuff I tried on was red. That's sort of what my eye just went towards. But I found some good stuff. First of all, I bought this. I got some exercise clothes, just beige, I don't mind. Um, bike shorts and a t-shirt. It's nice to have a little bit of variety. I also only have one pair of bike shorts that fits me currently, so extra. We got it. Then this. Office Sirene Who. This is so nice. I was a little bit sort of, uh, whether or not I should get it when I was in the store. I ended up getting it and I'm so happy that I did because I have worn this for two days already. This is by far the piece of clothing that I am the most stoked about. Mainly because I don't own anything like this and this opens up a whole new genre of possibilities for styling and it's specifically wearing like dresses and then shirts underneath. I don't really have anything that works the way this does. I am officially so flippin' excited about this. <sighs> it's so cool. Okay. Then, red skirt, who this same brand as this one, by the way, they're both from Signal. I like the red. And then I got a belt. I am not sure how I'm going to style this, so if you have any ideas, let me know. It's this belt, and it's like very wide, so I thought, I don't know, maybe I could do something. So you sort of, you close it like this. There we go. So it looks like this. I think it has potential. And that's everything I got. I didn't get anything sort of house home decor related. There were some really good things, but I was on my bike. I saw a deep fryer, which I'm really sad I didn't get, but I was on my bike. So I had limited storage options for going home with these things. So I think that's why I primarily got clothes this time around. Usually I get 
home decor, books, paintings. It was a really good day and I definitely needed that. Now, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video and all the thrift finds. Let me know which one you think has the most potential. I always love hearing other people's opinions about this type of stuff. So let me know, that'd be really amazing. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!